Hi everyone, welcome to Brave Vision. So roughly around 80 days are left for your gate examination. Effective 80 days are there. Now in those 80 days, what should be your perfect strategy to prepare for gate examination? That we are going to discuss in this particular video. Okay. So now first question, sir, can I start now? Sir, 80 days are left. Can I start right from the zero now? And will I be able to do well in the examination? Bottom line, one answer, absolutely no. Okay. If you are starting now and you are expecting that, sir, in 80 days, I will be doing this crash course, that crash course. Sir, can I do well in the gate examination? Absolutely no. Okay. If someone is saying why you need to listen to this guy, that guy, put your level best, uh, give your level best in 18 days, do this thing, that thing, and uh, you will be able to do well. Absolutely baseless. Okay. It is good for listening. It is good for motivation. But motivation doesn't get you marks. Your hard work does. And 80 days of hard work is not enough for your gate examination. That I can tell you. Okay. So it's not that I'm demotivating you. If you feel like that I'm demotivating, dislike the video and close it right now only. Okay. Don't watch this video. It is not demotivation. It is the reality. Okay. 80 day of effort, no matter how brilliant you are, it is not enough to crack gate examination in any branch. You can clear the cutoff, but you will not be able to do well in the gate examination. Okay. And just by clearing the cutoff, even if you are getting admission in masters, okay, what I'm saying just by clearing the cutoff, let's just say you are having some quota and with the, with that particular quota, you are getting admission in masters just by clearing some cutoff, just by clearing two to three subjects, then it is not worth it. Okay. When you go to masters, have your basics clear, at least have the BTEC basics clear. Then only go to masters. Otherwise don't go for it. Okay. So not talking about those students who are starting as of now, we are talking about those students who are done with three subjects. Minimum three subjects. You might be done with four subjects, five subjects, six subjects, seven subjects, or you might be done with the syllabus as well. But as of now, those who are preparing sincerely, they would have been done with at least three subjects. Okay. Those who are thinking to start as of now, like other people are not dumb, right? They have been preparing for six months, seven months. Some are preparing for eight months as well. They have been preparing for so long and you feel like that, sir, in 80 days, I will be able to crack it. No. Okay. So those people who have done three to four subjects, I will be talking about those people now. Okay. Now, sir, till when I can learn the new things. So if I talk about our EC and the electrical students, then uh, our examination would be on 14th and 15th. Feb. Okay. Most probably 95% chances are there that our examination would be on 14th February or 15th February. Why is, why is that so? Because on the first weekend, there is ESC examination. So IITs people are mature enough. They would consider this particular thing and they will set up our examination on 14th and 15th. Feb. Okay. So till at least 20 January, you can learn new things. Okay. It's not that sir, in January, you should not be learning new things. Learning is a constant process. You can learn any day till 20th January. You can learn new things with the condition that you are continuously revising. Okay. Because a lot of people, what they do is that, sir, we will be doing the syllabus by this particular date. Let's just say, sir, I will be doing the syllabus by 30th of November. After that, December and January will be completely for revision. This is absolutely baseless strategy. If you are thinking to prepare in this manner, then just stop today only. You will complete the syllabus by hook or crook. Anyhow, you will roughly do the syllabus and then you will pick up the notes. You will revise the subject that you studied in March or in April or in June. And once you pick up the notes of that subject, you will realize that, sir, I don't remember any single thing. Now, sir, 10 subjects are there. I have studied all of them, but now I am having pressure of all those 10 subjects because, sir, I am not able to recall a single thing out of those subjects. Okay, so forget about completing the syllabus. You can complete the syllabus any day. I ended up getting 27 rank in third year. I completed my syllabus on 31st December. Okay. On 1st January, I wrote down my full and test. Even in the January month as well, I was learning things. So learning is a constant process. You can learn any day. Syllabus completion is a myth. 100% syllabus, no one can complete. Even your educator cannot complete 100% syllabus. Okay, even the guy who is setting up the question paper, they also doesn't know 100% of the syllabus. So syllabus completion is a complete myth. What should be the target? Whatever that I have studied, I should be able to solve all the questions from that particular subject. That's it. This is the only target. If I have completed three subjects, I will ask to myself, am I able to attempt all the questions from those three subjects? Am I confident enough about those three subjects? If your answer is no, then drop studying new subjects, get back to those three subjects. Because your matter of concern should not be the left seven subject. Your matter of concern should be those three subjects which you have 
already studied because you have given your time to those three subjects and whatever the time that you have invested that should be worth it and that will be worth it only if you revise so whatever the time you are studying as of now let's just say you are studying eight hours then at least four hours should be given to the revision whatever the subjects i have studied i will revise those subjects and four hours to the new subjects slowly i will study i will try my level best if i have studied three subjects then in the given days i can surely try completing three more subjects as well okay and then aptitude goes as a easy subject only and mathematics also somehow i can do by some crash courses so i will be going in the examination with the attempt of seven to eight subject and in other subjects i can do some important topic as well so somehow i will be manage, managing the syllabus but the important part is whatever that i have studied i need to revise that particular part okay so syllabus will be maintained somehow it's not that you need to complete 100 percent of the syllabus i have seen like n number of people who never completed the full syllabus still ha they have done absolutely well in the gate examination AIR 2, AIR 3, AIR 37, AIR 10, AIR 14, AIR 16. Last year only there are a lot of examples. You can go and check out their videos. Hardly there was any guy who completed his syllabus. But whatever they did, to my students, I always recommend it's not important how much you cover. It's important whatever that you have covered, have you covered that in a good manner? Okay? So quantity is not important, quality is important. Right? Although for cracking a particular gate examination, quantity is also important. Okay, If I am saying only quality matters, that is absolutely wrong. Quantity also matters, but before that quality also matters. right? Because in our EC, like if you are getting 50 plus marks, nearly your job is done. 50 plus marks, that means you have done pretty well. And if the paper is turning out to be easy to moderate, then 55 plus marks, your job is done. If you, have, if you are getting 65 plus marks, you have done absolutely brilliant. Okay. <clears throat> now it might happen that sir, sir, a particular subject came out to be tougher, a particular subject came out to be on easier level. Sir, the subject that I prepared using crash courses only, sir, that subject came out to be on the easier side. And the, sir, that's the subject that I prepared in a very depth manner, that subject came out to be on the tougher side only. And I was able to solve those tougher questions as well. I was able to solve those easy questions as well. So yes, it turned out for you brilliantly. Like last year, EDC came out to be very easy. It was on very, very easy side. Those who have studied EDC on surface level, those who have studied EDC on semester level, they were able to solve all the questions from EDC. Right? Now, there was some guy who did not cover EDC in a good manner. He covered rest of the subjects in good manner. That was an advantage, advantage for him. Right? Like people spend a lot of time on digital communication, sir, analog communication, we will study this thing, that thing. Last year, 50% of the communication questions were from information theory. The guy who skipped information theory, he covered the whole communication of 70 to 80 hours. He just skipped that 15 hours of part, only 15 hours of part of information theory. From that 15 hours of part, six months of question came into the examination. So it's about luck. You cannot do anything on it. All you can do is that, sir, whatever I will do, I will do in a good manner. And I will go in the examination with a good mind, good mindset that even if I have covered six subjects, seven subjects, those six to seven subjects would be coming for nearly 60 to 70 marks. I need to get maximum marks out of those 60 to 70 marks. That's it. If I'm able to do it, then I have done brilliantly well in my AKT examination and I will be able to get something pretty good out of it. Okay, so you might be a CS student, you might be EC electrical student. So if you, are guys, if you guys are getting a rank around 1000, your job is done. Okay, you might have heard from some people that sir, 200 rank is required, 300 rank is required. Now, around, if you are getting a rank around, thousand you are going to get something good okay and then after that everything would depend on two years that how well you study in those two years of masters and after that you can get a very good job as well okay so everything would depend like it would depend on how good you do in your gate examination thousand rank would be good enough right along with that like there are some people who have started writing down the full end test so if you have started writing down the full and test, test and you are performing well in that, then it is fine. Okay. You have started writing down the full and test and you feel that, sir, I am performing good enough. Then it is fine. But just as you write down one full and test and you have realized that, sir, I am not performing good enough, then you need to stop it. Okay. Like I have seen some people like saying that full and test matters. Why subject wise test would matter? Why topic wise test would matter? Yeah. Subject wise test and topic wise test doesn't matter when it comes to the performance. 
like whatever the rank you are getting in topic wise test whatever the rank you are getting in subject wise test that would not matter but those tests would matter a lot for your revision purpose for getting to know that how well do you know that particular subject so as of now if you feel like that the syllabus is nearly completed i need to revise how do i focus on my revision what you would do is that you will pick one subject for 4 to 5 days okay i will let us say i have picked network analysis for next 4 to 5 days sir whatever that i know i will pick up my notes i will read all the theory sir if i feel like that i am lagging behind in a particular theory i will go to youtube i will search that particular topic on youtube i will try to see some gate gate educators explaining that particular topic i will try to get maximum out of it and i will make my topic strong so basically 4 to 5 days i will be giving to complete network analysis only in those 4 to 5 days i will try to get back to the track for network analysis and once i feel like that now i am confident enough i will write down their topic wise and subject wise test and i will start my new subject okay so this is the thing that i am telling for those people who have completed 3 to 4 subjects or even the full syllabus as well so this is how you will be revising your previous subjects now okay half of the time to new subjects half of the time to the previous subject for next 4 to 5 or 6 7 8 9 10 whatever the days you require i will be studying that particular subject which i which i need to revise if i feel like forgetting something i will again revise it i will study from some other resources i will try to get the consistency i will try to get the maximum out of that particular subject now i will move to the new subjects i will revise the new subjects but for the previous subject i will write down the test series i will keep on writing down the test series of the previous subject i will keep on solving the pyqs of the previous subject i will keep on solving the workbook of the previous subject all i need to do is that once i am done revising the previous subject i will be solving problems of that particular subject no matter from wherever i am getting the problems okay so in that manner you will keep the subjects in command this is not the time that sir i will be revising in december or january or the on that particular date i am i will be revising sir this thing i will be doing that thing i will be doing no no strategy nothing only thing is now i need to pick up the subjects and i will pick it up in a manner that that in a manner that they are never losing my hands those subjects will always be my in my command if tomorrow you take my examination i will be able to solve the questions from that particular subject that should be the temperament i need to have now okay so that december preparation strategy december revision strategy january revision strategy january test series strategy how to get maximum marks in test series all these things will not work how will you get maximum marks in test series if your concepts are good enough then only you will get maximum marks in the, in the test series you attempt easy question first you attempt moderate you attempt the question paper in three phase make uh, this kind of strategy that kind of strategy these things don't get you marks in the test series okay your concepts will get you marks in the test series if you are good enough with the concept you will be able to get marks if you are not good enough with the concepts you will not be able to get the good marks that's it this is the bottom line okay and if you want to be good enough with the concepts if you want to have a good temperament if you want to have a good knowledge if you feel like that i want to be good at problem solving then you need to study now don't run behind completely completing the syllabus run behind the excellence that whatever that i have studied i should be good enough in that particular part is that understandable to you are you able to understand what i am saying okay so a lot of people in december and january would be saying that sir i have studied everything but i am not getting marks in the test series the reasoning is you studied it but you did not revise it and that's why you are not getting marks in the test series now and then there will be a lot of video saying that how you can get the maximum marks and after that some video would come up and that video would say your test series marks doesn't matter something magical happen something magical would happen in your final examination and you would be able to do well and there would be some example of some guy that there was this guy who used to score 40 to 45 marks in test series and in the examination he ended up getting 60 to 70 marks but that would be one guy out of 500 people 500 people were failing in the test series out of those 500 people one guy did well but 100 people were doing well in the test series out of those 100 people 95 people did well so if someone says your test series score doesn't matter take him to some guy who did well in gate examination and ask him his gate score off the camera not on the camera okay off the camera and he will let you know that he always performed well in the test series as well and those guy who did not do well last year go to them and ask them what was your test series score they will say that i did not perform up to the mark so your final test series marks do matter on the last day of examination i may also say that your marks doesn't matter your test series marks doesn't matter just to give you the confidence 
in the final days in final four to five days i will be also saying the same things that this thing doesn't matter that thing doesn't matter because in the final days what i can do i can only give you the confidence it might be a fake confidence whatever it is right but before the examination we will be rough this channel would be rough i will be rough and i will be telling you the reality the reality is start studying now okay solve as many problems as you can write down the test series build the temperament of test series once you feel like that sir yeah now i am confident enough in four to five subjects now i am good enough for writing down the full end test then start the full end test for easy student like our examination will be on 14th or 15th sir i can say that latest you can start writing down the full end test by 20th of jan as well latest like on 20th jan at least you should be writing down one full end test for sure but before that you can study new things you can revise you can write down topic wise test subject wise test whatever you want to write down but at least start writing writing topic wise tests okay it's not that sir i'm solving only pyqs i'm not writing topic wise test i'm not writing writing subject wise test as well only pyqs and dpp i'm solving you need to write down the test as well so that you can understand that how you perform when there is a timer how you perform the when the question is paper, when the question paper is shown on the laptop screen how do you use your virtual calculator so all these things are also important that you will get to know once you write down the test but it is not necessary that it should be full and test it could be topic wise test subject wise test along with that your subject will also be revised right so i hope i have given enough points i hope i have given you enough reality check as well okay yeah thank you very much happy learning if you are having any other query you can write down in the comment section i will try to make video on that yeah or i would try to make nowadays we are making youtube shorts so if i feel like that i will be able to answer that particular query in a youtube short then it might be coming in the youtube shorts as well okay yeah Thank you very much. Happy learning.